The idea behind this project is to create a wooden top for this metal work table that I can mount a router table to. The wooden top will be made from some scrap 3 quarters inch plywood that I've had laying around. It will attach to the metal table using two risers made from poplar that will be glued to the piece of plywood. First off at the table saw, I took a 2x6 of poplar and cut it down to a 3 inch strip that I can use for the risers. This 2x6 is made by two 1x6s that are laminated together with wood glue. It's left over from my lofted bed build which you can check out using the link at the top. I took this 3 inch strip of poplar and measured out two 17 and a half inch risers that I could then cut to length at the miter saw. Using my circular saw and some painter's tape to prevent tear out, I cut the oak piece of plywood down to size. Next I glued and clamped the poplar risers onto the piece of plywood at positions that would match pre-drilled holes on the metal work table. The next thing I needed to do was pre-drill holes and then install the threaded inserts. These threaded inserts will be used to install the wooden top onto the metal base. I then drew a round over on each of the corners and proceeded to cut them off using a jigsaw so that I wouldn't jab myself in the leg while working around the table. I'm not a big fan of using the jigsaw. Maybe it's because I have a cheaper model or because I have bad blades, but after a bit of sanding the corners looked pretty good. Next it was time to drill mounting holes to the top of the table for the router. I attached a backing board to the piece of plywood to help prevent any tear out. Finally, after doing a bit of sanding, I wiped the top down with the tack cloth before applying the first coat of shellac. I mainly chose to use shellac for this project because it's easy to apply and I wanted to experiment with the finish. After the first coat dried, I sanded it down with 220 grit and then applied a few more coats. The finish turned out nicely and really brought out the grain of the oak plywood, but I'll have to admit it does remind me a little bit of my elementary school desk. Finally, all I had left to do was to mount the wooden top to the metal base using the threaded inserts and some quarter inch screws. With the router now mounted to the top, I can call this project complete and start using it for future projects. In the end, this was a nice little project that not only got this router table mounted, but also allowed me to try out some different woodworking techniques. If you'd like to check out any of the products that I used in this project, feel free to scroll down to the description. While you're down there, feel free to click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can check out my future projects as they come out. I hope you enjoyed watching this project and I'll see you on the next one.